In this video, we will see how DDoS attack, a short of distributed denial of service, are common and how they can affect any online service, from small nonprofits to large corporations. They can slow or stop services like email and websites. Service providers face threats to their infrastructure, impacting customers and subscribers. Hi, my name is Douglas Bernardini, this is CyberZero Channel, and we will explain how a successful DDoS attack can damage a brand and cost a lot financially. DDoS attacks are growing, targeting new areas and using botnets made of IoT devices. The first major DDoS attack was in 1996, and such attacks have been increasing since. In 2016, a huge DDoS attack hit a cybersecurity blog with unprecedented traffic. The Mirai botnet, made of compromised IoT devices, was responsible. It also targeted a European hosting provider, creating significant traffic. In 2017, Google experienced a massive DDoS attack from China. It lasted six months, peaking at approximately 2.5 terabytes per second. Google managed to mitigate the attack without major impact. GitHub faced a record DDoS attack in 2018. The attack peaked at approximately 1.3 terabytes per second using a method exploiting memcached servers. GitHub responded quickly, minimizing downtime. AWS encountered the largest DDoS attack in 2020, peaking at approximately 2.4 terabytes per second. It used CLDAP reflection, amplifying the traffic significantly. AWS mitigated the attack with its protective service. In 2021, Microsoft's Azure handled multiple large DDoS attacks. The largest peaked at approximately 3.47 terabytes per second, involving traffic from thousands of sources worldwide. Microsoft successfully defended against these attacks. Google Cloud mitigated a record data OS attack in 2023 with traffic peaking at 398 million requests per second. It was a sophisticated attack using the HTTP2 rapid reset technique.